Wow. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, in the new year. I'm so excited to be back. Oh, it's been a while. You know, when Lisa said we have a call today, I'm like, I'm not missing this call. And moreover, the guest that you are having, which is a leader in the business, I can't wait to hear what she's about to share. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our call and thank you for joining us this evening. Um, we've got a special guest and I just love the topic, discover your seventh level why. Oh, wow. I think that theme for this call on its own, it is loaded. I myself would like to know the why and the seventh level because you will agree with me. It is the beginning of the year. It is very important to identify your why. We need to be reminded again why we are doing this business. By so saying, ladies and gentlemen, please join me and welcome Beth Paul. Beth is our platinum leader in South Africa. Beth, I love your picture <laughs> on this flyer. It's stunning. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me, guys. It's always so nice to speak to the Young Living family. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's doing wow. well. It is so hot here in the Western Cape. So we are just fans going and yeah, I've got a house to myself. So I'm very excited for this call. And um, Lebs, can, just, can I just get going? I'm, I'm glad you are. I just want to quickly take them through the next, um, because I know when I hand over back to you, it's, it's full throttle. So on this <laughs> call, for those who don't know me, my name is Lebohang Mzansi. Um, oh, Lebohang Kopi, I've got a new surname. <laughs> I keep on forgetting. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Lebo. Hey, she yes. Thank you, thank you, Beth. Uh, Lebo Khang Kobi, and I'm joined with Lee, a colleague of mine on this call. Thank you, Lee, for joining us. So, yes. I'm just, I'm just are... sharing the code because people are struggling to get in, and that's why we got so little people on the call. Beth, it was 5431 oh. that worked, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, so I'm just sharing all the groups. Yes. Ooh, okay. 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 Let me quickly send it so, to my to my team as well yeah five, four, three. Yeah. i also it, it asked me for a passcode but i knew it because we've we've shared all this this meeting i don't know why it's asking for it now but well it's 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 good that people are gonna hop on i was a bit worried that oh my word only four people on the call but now i'm seeing that people are jumping on okay yeah the yeah. passcode is working it's working now perfectly so yeah um uh just do you want to just share what we're gonna be having we've got a full program in the coming weeks every thursday we've got something for you so what's next please take notes of this date it is a new year we are starting so it is a new year we are all going to learn from beth and everything, please have a book with you. Learn as much as you can. Put certain things into practice because we are going full throttle. Uh, this is the term that our brand partners love in this year. So here are the calls for you. And on the 1st of February, that is on Tuesday, we will have an update call. Um, this will be led by corporate. We will share with you the promos, everything that is happening in February. You don't want to miss this call. That is happening on Tuesday next week. And on Thursday, um, as you know, we always have these calls. We are going to be talking about these three oils, uh, patchouli, bergamot, and geranium. Who knows, they might be part of, the, of, 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 the, of, of, of what we'll be having and sharing with you in terms of the promotions and what we're having for a month. You don't wanna miss that. And on the 10th, again, we will be talking to you about Cypress, Vetiva, and Melrose. Also, if you know and you know that we are going, up, we are going to do the road shows, we will be learn as much as you can. Don't miss these calls. They might just be lucky draws or certain things that we're asking where the, to the towns that we'll be visiting. So if you are on this call, you're not going to miss anything so that you're able to get the gifts or the surprises that we have for you in store. And on Thursday, as always, we will be having a DIYs with these oils that we would have 
uh, taught you and trained you on how to, to use the oils. So we will be having the DIYs. All these calls, they'll be led by corporate in partnership with the brand partners. As you know how we always do it, we will continue doing that because we saw that it works better because our brand partners love and know and understand the oils. So are we. And on the 24th, um, I think this is the one that we're most excited about. Ask your pharmacists, ask your compliance. I'm not going to say much. You don't want to miss it. Uh, more info will follow with regards to that. But this is something new that we'll be doing with you and I know that you're gonna love it. So that's that's all about. And yeah, oh, now we've got 30 people. That's great. People are, please, please keep sharing the passcode. Make sure that everybody's joining this call. They don't want to miss what Beth is going to share with us. Beth, I'm going to hand over to you. That was all from my side. Thank you. You can take it on from here. Hi, guys. Gosh, I haven't done one of these in quite a while, and I'm feeling very nervous, but I'm very excited, and I feel very honored to have been asked to share on this topic. Um, so before we start, I just want to ask and encourage everyone while I'm getting my screen share going, just to grab an oil near you, any oil, just everyone get an oil in your hand. Let me get my screen share going. There you go. It looks like it's full screen already. Lee, it is. Hey, are you happy? Yes, we can see a screen, Beth. You can continue. Okay. Okay, so I hope that you all have an oil with you. Um, it doesn't have to be super significant right now, as we all know that every single oil has got an amazing property. And I can almost guarantee that every oil you could connect with this practice in some way or another. Um, for me, I grab Magnify Your Purpose because that's just what I thought of when I did this exercise. So what's going to happen tonight is if you have a notebook and pen with you, that's great. You can take notes. Um, you can take notes of the steps that I'm following. Um, but I would actually encourage you to just take in today and um, go with me as I'm going to walk you through doing my seventh level Y. Um, I find that it's beneficial to do something like this when you're alone and uninterrupted, no one around you. You can um, puff your diffuser, get your oils, and you've just got some quiet. It doesn't take very long to do this exercise, but I can guarantee you that it is hectic in terms of emotions. Um, I always thought that I had a strong why until I did this exercise. So a quick introduction for those of you who don't know me. My name is Beth Paul. I'm a former school teacher. I'm 33 years old. I'm a mom of two small kids, five and a half and three and a half, Christian and Harriet. Um, my husband of 12 years now in March um, is also an entrepreneur. So I just want to touch on that because it's going to come up when I do my seventh level why, because our story is very much our story. Um, I kind of don't remember life before him <laughs> if you've been married that long. Um, so yeah, I'll be bringing him in here and there. So the main thing is that the reason for doing this exercise is that your why is often thrown around and it can sometimes lose its value and its meaning. And having a strong why is so crucial in this business. But even just saying like, well, why is that your why? Like you can make it like almost become like a silly frivolous thing. And it's actually such a beautiful thing if you are certain of what it is. And it can be such a wonderful motivator because showing up in your business on the daily when you are your own boss can get challenging and having a strong why can help you do that. Because I honestly think that the hardest part in this business for myself, and I'm sure for a few of you, is the fact that we don't have a boss telling us what to do and when to show up and how to show up and all those things. And it's actually easier to say to yourself, like, I don't feel like doing this now, or I'll do this in a few days time, or I'm too nervous to do this. But would you ever say that to a boss, like to a real boss? Like, I can't imagine in corporate, if you tell your boss, like, I'm too nervous for this presentation, they would laugh at you. They'd be like, no, man, pull your socks up. You have to do this. Like, there's just no option. And I sometimes think that that is the element that we are lacking in network marketing. It's the gift that we get to be our own bosses, but it can sometimes be a lot of our downfalls is that we don't have that strong voice and that authority sometimes making us set that alarm super early to get up to do that hard thing. It's so much easier to give excuses when you're just speaking 
to yourself and when you are your own sounding board. I know for myself, like I'm, I love a flexible schedule. So I love the fact that like, I've got 10 things on my to-do list and I've got my whole week to get it done. Um, I do work well like that because I will make sure that it's done by the end of the week because I have a strong why, but I do enjoy that flexibility in this business. So I think that's why it's just really important to have that strong why so that you can glean from the positive side of being your own boss. Okay. I've got notes, so I am going to the side here and there. Um, having a strong why and the seventh level why is so much more important or so much more meaningful than a boss in a stuffy desk job. So I want you guys to look at this as a positive thing. This exercise may be a bit hard because it will pull on perhaps some, um, perhaps some unresolved childhood issues perhaps some hurts or some frustrations that you've had in your adulthood in your life thus far um yeah so it is it's a journey and I, I'm going to let you guys do it with me so that you can see how I actually got to my seventh level why and then last thing I just want to share on before I actually start is how I came across this so this is one of the beautiful parts I shared in the let's get active um, event on Saturday that I went to Ecuador on platinum retreats and I got to meet the most amazing other platinum leaders from around the world and one of my new really good friends Chantel and I were chatting not too long ago this is literally about your guys it was maybe two weeks after we came back from retreats and I was so stoked and excited and passionate but something in me was feeling tired. I think it was the whole end of year feel. And I just know we all for various reasons get tired or we sometimes feel like we don't have the passion in the moment when we need to be doing the hard thing. And I just said to her out of interest, coming from another leader's point of view, like, what do you do if you're ever feeling that way? Like a bit demotivated or a bit frustrated or just a little bit stuck. And she said to me, well, have you done your seventh level? Why? And I was like, no, this sounds like seventh heaven, the TV program. I was like, no, what is it? What is it? And I couldn't wait to hear from her because it just sounded so idyllic in a way. And she said to me like, okay, I'm going to send you the video of how to do it, but you need to get tissues, you need to set out some time and actually do it because it's like completely changed my business. She said to me. So that is what I did. I did share the video with my team and then I asked Corvus if I could share with all of you because it's honestly a game changer in this business to have a strong why and to, and to really scratch that surface. So without further ado, I'm going to start with you guys um, because there are two parts to your why. And the first one, your vision, that's kind of the fun one that a lot of people just throw out there. Like, why did you decide to start a young living business? And this can apply for entrepreneurs. This can apply for anything really that goes against the brain or that's um, at times tricky where you are your own boss. Um, it could be a new workout routine. It could be like various things. Um, but it really, this practice works really well in business and in entrepreneurship if you've started your own passion project. So the top vision is usually like, I want to retire my husband, or um, I want to pay off debts, or I want to travel the world. It's that really fun sounding one that straight away gives you like a feeling of excitement. But then the reason for your vision is the second aspect to the why. So the reason for the vision is where it's at. That's the part that gets you emotional, shaky, and keeps you showing up even when you don't feel like it. So that is the part that this exercise will evoke and actually make you recognize what is that reason for the vision, not just the bright, sparkly vision. Because the problem sometimes is, is when we have this big vision and we are here busy building, and we all know how building works. Building doesn't go like this. <laughs> building goes like this. <laughs> um, that sometimes it can feel so far away to get that bridge from here to there that we sometimes don't even look back as to how far we've come we just still see this gap here so it's really important to get that meaning because that is going to carry you along the way as you discover and start experiencing more and more of the freedoms behind the reason for your vision okay so it's going to take a sip of water I'm talking a lot tonight like non-stop this is no back and forth communication I'm going to share with you guys what my level one why is. So this is just my vision. If you ask me today, why did you start your young living business? I would say to you, I would say to you, sorry, I had to press there hard, <laughs> um, for financial health. And I, I purposely choose to say it that way, not financial freedom or any woo-woo word, 
financial health is a huge aspect of our health. You can imagine how sick people get when they don't have financial health. And also, I just want to move away from financial freedom or getting rich or having a lot of money, because a lot of those things will not bring you the satisfaction and happiness you are looking for. But the financial health is the more holistic way I like to look at finances. The second one, get debt free. The third one, work freedom for my husband. And the fourth one, time freedom. And the fifth one, travel. So in a nutshell, that's what I would say to someone. Okay, now I just want to preface at this point, because when you start this exercise, you might have just one thing here, or you might have five, or you might have 10. Each one of these, you can actually do the seventh level Y. Um, practice with but I've decided just for time reasons tonight as well I've grouped mine into the top three together kind of the one that goes around working and finances and then the bottom two that goes around lifestyle and travel together and yeah just to make it a bit easier for you guys to see so let's start um, I'm going to start with the first section so my level one why is financial health debt free work freedom for my husband and this is where the exercise starts now you need to ask yourself why do you want financial health to be debt free and to have work freedom for your husband and then i answer to not have money stress drive our thoughts and hearts be more physically and emotionally available and then i have to ask myself why do i not want money stress the, why do I not? Why, why do I want to not have money stress drive our thoughts and hearts? And why do I want to be more physically and emotional, emotionally available? I should speak slower because I'm trying to sue myself. Um, level three, because we don't want to be bound to any system. We want to be free to govern our time and mental space, be able to create and produce an income in areas that we're passionate about. Can you already like see the tone here? It's getting a bit deeper. It's not just like a little topic. It's like it's getting into the hard stuff. Okay, now why do I want that? Because we want to own our time. We want to be more physically and emotionally available for our family. So this is the first time in this one where I noticed that a big why for me has actually got to do with my family. And it's got to do with not only being emotionally available to them, but in an ideal world, we would actually physically be more available to them, not outsource them or not need to only like, um, what's the word when you like need to manage your time and only see them for snippets throughout the day. Why do we want that? Because we want to be the ones to teach our children, guide and affirm their inner voice and identity, savor the gift of quantity time, doing life and embracing the mundane. Now, I just quickly actually want to touch on this because it was a teaching I listened to not so long ago about, I know we all know the phrase quality over quantity, but it was about parenthood and it actually said that quantity time, if you guys listen to Dr. James Dobson, Focus on the Family, it was one by him, um, that quantity time is more important to children and quality time. And it's because there is so much value and it's such a gift to walk them through those small mundane moments in the day, teaching them and becoming their inner voice because they are such sponges and they just grab onto so many things we say. Okay, so this one already made me just a little bit like, whew, feeling a bit emotional, just thinking about that, that who is their inner voice and what do they hear if we aren't, if we can't be with them? Why do I want that? Because I want to develop a strong family unit. I want to be their safe place and foundation. Teaching our father's heart, for me, this is a faith journey. Nurturing theirs and training them up to create and contribute to society. And then why do I want that? Sorry, I'm just going to have to move this here because it's covering it. So that our kids are spiritually and emotionally secure that they are confident in their identity. Oh gosh, sorry guys, I'm trying to, there you go, there you go, this will work. I won't see myself, but that's fine because otherwise I can't read my slides. Um, that we have time and freedom to spend their childhood with them, growing alongside them. So that is my first seventh level why. So if you ask me now on that aspect of my why, why did you start your young living business? I would say, so that our kids are spiritually and emotionally secure, that they have confidence in their confidence in their identity and that we have time and freedom to spend their childhood with them growing alongside them. Now that is something I wouldn't have thought of if you just brought up the opportunity of having this business. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one, guys. 
And that is the second half of my initial vision, my initial level one why, and that is time freedom and travel freedom. And this one got to me more than finances did. Um, this one was really a heart joker for me. So why do I want time freedom and travel freedom? To have more fun and do what we enjoy and show the kids the world. Um, this one seems more superficial, but you'll see this one is actually very deep for me. Why do we want to have more fun, do what we enjoy, and show the kids the world? Because we want our kids to know anything is possible. We want them to see how the world works in different places. If you've traveled, I'm sure you've experienced this, and a lot of us want that for our kids. A lot of, well, Peter and I have constant conversations when we're traveling. We like, oh my word, this world is so big. Our little lives are so small. It's just such a good perspective builder. So we often feel like we want our kids to come here. We want them to see how people are operating and living here. And um, sure, just visiting Ecuador and seeing like no one was begging on the streets there. Everyone was trying to make an income um, with a paraplegic people on the side of the street were selling sweets. And there was just such an honesty policy that you would literally just put your money down and take your sweets because the lady actually couldn't help you. She was just there doing a job and doing something to create an income. And we were just saying like, we'd love our kids to see that and not just see what we're used to in our country possibly. And also not just to see our little lives and our little world because what you see and what you're exposed to will create your worldview. So why do we want our kids to know anything is possible? Why do we want them to see how the world works in different places? We want them to know how blessed they are, to never feel stressed that their needs won't be met. We want them to want to give back to those in need. I think that last sentence was a big one. Um, I think it's very easy for so many of us, guys, I'm preaching to myself here, to get so caught up in your world that you, you forget to... Um, practice that muscle of wanting to give back to those in need and it's such a beautiful thing that you just when you're traveling especially the, I kind of think maybe the way we travel we're quite adventure travelers like going and seeing not only the, the idyllic holiday like destinations um, but going to see how people really live in different countries it really makes you want to give back to those in need and that's what we just feel that's a beautiful way to raise our kids so why do we want that So when I was young, oh, I hear someone chatting. <laughs> as long as you guys can still hear, so I can't even see my screen anymore. Okay, so um, this one was quite a big one for me because I actually had to think of my childhood. So when I was young, the messages being taught were to follow the system. I couldn't see how this one size fits all approach would work for everyone, even though it was mostly working for me, I knew there was more. And I just want to preface also here, guys, I'm not digging at anyone that has got a nine to five job. There are so many people that love it. It's just my concern came in from quite a young age is when I saw that there was this one size fits all mold and lifestyle suggested to people that if you have, what do they say? A house with a white picket fence, a dog named Thumper and 2.2 kids, that that is what it's all about. And um, yeah, for many of us, that is what it's all about. And we can achieve that and we do it happily and we enjoy it. But I've always had a heart for the underdogs and wanting to show my kids, I think maybe with a concern that perhaps I have a child that's an underdog that doesn't fit the mold, that doesn't fit the system or the traditional way, wanting to expose them to more and making, making that more attainable to them. So why did I want that? Because if our kids grew up in a different way than us, maybe the idea of conformity wouldn't guide their lives. Maybe they will be able to go for their dreams in their late teens and early 20s instead of waiting for their 30s. Maybe they won't struggle as much to break societal molds. Now, this is a big, big one for me because I always feel that just giving kids that blank canvas, those open opportunities, as many opportunities and possibilities and make that, that confidence in knowing their identity and, and being ready to take on what their hearts desire at a younger age is what's important. So why did I want that? And this is my seventh level why here. Yeah. Because we want, and when I say we, I'm talking about Peter and I, we want to break the cycle. We want to raise children who are brave and excited about life and learning, who grow up to make a difference in their world with finances and fear not being something to hold them back. 
So if you ask me what is the reason for my vision, for my first why, I would say we want our kids to be spiritually and emotionally secure, that they are confident in their identity. We want time and freedom to spend their childhood with them, growing alongside them. We want to break the cycle. We want to raise children who are brave and excited about life and learning, who grow up to make a difference in their world with finances and fear not being something to hold them back. And when I think of it that way, then I think of, okay, I can... I can do the hard things. I can do the things that challenge me in this business. I can learn the things that I need to learn. Um, if you are in the 12 Days of Diamond Facebook group, there are some amazing videos there from Diamonds in Young Living. And Bethany Shipney's, Shipney's um, video from 2022, this year's one, well, sorry, was December 21. Um, but it will, you can, yeah, it's kind of runs now for the year 2022. She shared something so simple yet so profound and she said when she started her young living business she just realized that any skill you can learn and that's really something I've noticed in this business I've noticed it from a leader perspective and from still enrolling people and still growing my business still with the passion in my heart and the fire in my guts and I've learned that you can learn how to make a reel on Instagram. <laughs> you can learn how to teach people leadership. Even if I haven't figured out how to be a leader yet, I'm learning as I'm going along. But I can read books. I can teach myself how to teach leadership. And in the meantime, practice while I'm figuring it out. Anything you are lacking, you can learn. And I just want to encourage everyone, don't let those like, what's that saying from Cinderella story? Don't let the fear of striking out stop you from hitting the ball. <laughs> I'm dead serious with this. Don't let that fear of striking out stop you from even trying. The hardest part in this business is going to be to stay motivated because you don't have someone telling you to do all the things. So figure out what your seventh level why is. Figure out what is it that's actually going to, and I say this in a jokey way, but it's actually some of my favorite times to work on this business is when the house is dead quiet. I sometimes pull really late nighters and I just like pump out graphics or class scripts or things like that till about two in the morning. And never have I wanted to switch on the TV instead. I'm always like loving what I'm doing, passionate about what I'm doing because I know the bigger why behind it. I must admit, I only did this exercise recently, but just that first vision of mine was good enough. Um, for a long time. And I even did a talk not too long ago on one of the EU events with Young Living about the different levels of why and it's good to live out your why even before you've hit your big goal. You need to enjoy the process. You can't just be living for that big goal. You need to, you need to create. And I always tell my team, you need to enjoy the freedoms that this business offers you the day you buy your starter kit. And those are that you have health options. Those are that you have this business, maybe not your nine to five or whatever you're doing in, during your day, but this business model is giving you time and location freedom already, even at the rank of star. So even if you aren't yet where you want to be, even if you haven't yet retired your husband or bought that beach house or whatever it is that we all know has a deeper, deeper, deeper why, why you actually want that beach house. It's not to have a cute Instagram photos. It's to have quality family holidays. Like there's a deeper reason behind a lot of these things that can seem superficial and your why is valid because it's yours. It's something that I believe God has laid on your heart. So don't ignore it, but dig deeper and figure out the deeper meaning there because that's going to help you when times get tough. Okay. And then I just wanted to finish up with this. Uh, my dad used to say this to us growing up. And even though, I mean, it was a bit of a hard practice to say about my childhood, about kind of being taught about following the system and that's the way to success in this life. Um, my dad has a bit of an entrepreneurial spirit to him and he would often encourage us to, to do something on the side or something like that. And he used to always say this, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. And um, he also used to quote Gary Player quite a bit that um, the, if the luckier you want to get, the more you have to practice. <laughs> and it's so true. Like there's so much practicality and wisdom in just healthy principles in your business um it's not always about this woo woo ideal and massive goal like no figure out what those steps are to reach the goal do a smart that smart breakdown where you 
get your goals and you work towards them. And then I just wrote something here for you guys, just from my heart. I urge you to create a life that sparks a fire in your belly. Live out your convictions with passion and grace. Use what you have, work with your hands and stay out of other people's affairs. Use your talents, don't bury them in the sand. Be a light on the hill, speak life and be a vessel of hope for all who journey across your path. And I just want to leave you guys with that because it's actually a few conversations we've been having. If you don't know, Peter and I have bought an old caravan that we are renovating and restoring. And it's been such a fun journey, but it's really evokes a lot of conversation because we are actually getting our hands dirty and doing a lot of the renovating ourselves. And um, Peter, my husband, is a very um, philosophical man. <laughs> and um, he, he often comes to us as a family with a word in the beginning of the year. And I kid you guys not, I think it was three years in a row, all he brought, like after spending hours with God far up on a hill, he would come back and he would just say that we need to work with our hands and stay out of other people's business. And those two simple things have really been like a great, great ingredients together for happiness and joy in this life. Um, this year, his word was literally to be still. <laughs> so even um, that just in itself has been encouraging for me because I found myself stopping to listen more in this season and not speak as fast and quickly and as much because I do speak quite easily and I'm quite opinionated as a person. Um, it's It's been very interesting to, to yeah, chat to your spouse, chat to your partner, guys, and um, work alongside them and build those dreams and um, use what you have. We all have our own gifts and talents and it's very important that we don't bury them in the sand and that we use them so that's me for tonight guys i want to love and bless you guys on that thank you beth um i really think that well first i want to thank you for allowing yourself to be so vulnerable tonight because i think we all felt how important um your why is to you now that you've done the work on it and i think there's not a person i mean i've had so many of the people sending me private messages about how emotional they've become and hours and i'm thinking about it so so thank you for allowing that because i know it's not easy to be vulnerable in front of people so i really appreciate it and i think it was truly inspirational um so thank you i really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and talking about heart um Somebody mentioned to me, said to me one day, somebody that had a really big influence on my life, is that he said, once I understand, once you understand your why, it becomes your heart song. Um, and that was, I really like that term of a heart song. It's like, what, what gets you going? So, so thanks for sharing, Beth. Talk about a heart. Beth, can you just stop swearing, sharing? Oh, sorry, thank you. Stop sharing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, I can see the, the comments now <laughs> while you wrap up. Like, yeah. the comments. <laughs> um, so talking about a heart, um, we, next month we've got early on the 5th of February, we've got our Young at Heart road shows. These are um, starting on the 5th of February in Johannesburg and Polokwane. Um, and then the 12th of February in Cape Town and Port Elizabeth. So I just wanted, because I've had so many people reach out to me and say, but what about Durban? What about Bloemfontein? What about George? What about our other cities? So just I want to position that when we had, sorry, when we had our road shows last year, we had pl plans to go to Polokwane. We actually sold tickets. Tickets were sold out, Polokwane and Port Elizabeth, but we never um, was able to go so that's why we these are the places that we're going to first and obviously Johannesburg and Cape Town is our biggest places but that being said we are coming to the other cities very soon so tickets are limited so please make sure that you get your tickets very quick because they are selling out fast and what's going to be amazing about this is going to be a very interactive um, DIY fragrance workshop um, this is also an amazing opportunity for people to be introduced to Young Living. So if you want to bring guests, they can experience the oils. Uh, marketing has come up with an amazing presentation. Um, and you're actually going to be making fragrance from oils, but also getting to understand more about the oils. I'm not going to say more, but also about who Young Living is um, and what we do. Okay, so please bring some guests. Uh, like I said, tickets are selling out fast. Now, we know that um, there is a very few days left in um, January, but I just want to remind everybody we had our Let's Get Active event on Saturday. Um, if you haven't seen it, go look at, have a, look at it. On, it's on Thrive for, till Monday. 
um, then it's going to be gone. So please make sure that you go have a look at it. Just to recap the incentive for January, um, if you match your June 2021 OGV, you will get this um, branded Young Living water bottle. If you were not a, a brand partner in June or you had zero OGV in June, then you, you have to do 2000 OGV and you will get the water bottle. If you do 5% uh, growth in June, you will get the water bottle plus the towel. Um, if you were not a brand partner, it's 2500 OGV. And then um, for tier 3, you will get all three, including the gym mat as well or the yoga mat. If you grow your OGV with 10% versus over June, um, or have a 3000 OGV, you will get all of this. Then the top three senior stars, executives, silvers, golds, and platinums with the highest OGV growth with a minimum of 15% at least, they each will receive this Huawei Fit Band, which is really great for, for getting you active and um, getting you out there and keeping you busy. Um, and also, tells the time, right? Hopefully. Then the last thing I want to, re to just quickly remind you about is our amazing executive development program, which is running from January to June. So we are in the thick of it. Um, and th what it does, it rewards new and existing brand, uh, existing executives, new executives for achieving and maintaining, sorry, new executives, not ex existing, new executives for achieving and maintaining um, executive rank. So up for grabs, I'm not going to go through all of this because you know this, I just want to recap. If you go out as an executive in January and you, you maintain it every month, you, there's 21,000 Rand up for grab. The sooner you, the later you go out as an executive, the less the money become. So that is it for tonight. Um, just want to really, really thank everybody for joining the first of our calls. As you can say, we're going to see, we're going to have Let's Talk Thursdays, every Thursday and there's bumper packed with exciting things. Please join our call on the 1st of February because we are going to launch February with a bang. There's amazing promotions. Um, there's a lot cooking I cannot share with you now. I wish I can. Um, but please be on that call because we will help you in setting yourself up for success in February. So thank you everybody for joining us tonight. And Beth, once again, thank you very much for everything. Um, and we'll see you soon. Wherever you are, because we're going to come to your city or your town. Me and Lebuchang is, and Kubus is packing ourselves up on the plane and in the car, and we're going to come visit you all. We're looking forward to meet you this year 101. Bye, everybody.